Hi there, now that you have opened up a Netflix account, how do you take full advantage of the features offered? These are 10 tips. First tip, choosing Netflix trial stream plan. Choosing the highest tier is a good choice for users to test out the best capabilities of Netflix with up to 4 users and Ultra HD streaming. You can also change the subscription before the end of your 1 month trial. The cheapest tier at $7.99 is sufficient if you are just watching from your mobile devices. You can switch back and forth between the plans to see which is best for you. Sometimes we take about 15 to 20 minutes trying to browse what to watch in Netflix. By default, Netflix has already a good algorithm to recommend shows. However, there are other ways you can reach to your destination. One of them is going through web pages right Reddit. Viewers and critics have already updated their websites constantly to give their ratings on which shows are the best. Just click on any shows of your preference and it will link back to Netflix web page. If you are not in the mood to browse any shows, just go to Flix Roulette and randomly choose any shows just by clicking Spin. It will just recommend you shows that you randomly choose or you can choose within the genre, director's names, actor's name or keyword. Tip 3. Where do you find out which are the new movies and TV shows that are coming out of Netflix? There are a lot of websites like Instant Watcher where it not only shows the latest shows but also categorize them into very detailed categories. You can also check out new shows in what's on Netflix.com. It's shown in a blog layout and you can just click on the shows that you like and again it links to Netflix. There are many other websites that feature the new shows in Netflix. You just have to find them out and share with me in the comments below. While there are many sites that inform the new shows, there are very few that shows which are leaving the Netflix archive. Nowstreamingport.com is one of the few that features the shows that are leaving Netflix. Due to licensing issues, movies and TV shows will be extracted out of Netflix weekly, especially towards the end of the month. So you should take note which ones you want to watch, as you have plenty to choose from that will be missed. As you can see, I'm a bit too late to get updated with the shows that are leaving. I can't possibly click on them anymore right now. This next tip is extremely useful for people who have families or friends overseas. Just simply log in to Rabbit, then log in to Netflix, and you can use this web address to share with your friends overseas. They don't even need a Rabbit or a Netflix account to watch together with you. Normally, if you watch your movies or TV shows with your family members or friends, you will definitely miss them if they have worked overseas. So this website called Rabbit allows up to 10 people to watch the same shows with you. So far for the time that I use, Hello. there's no lags or sound issues. You can view the movie with 10 of your friends, talk to them and watch them through the webcam with no issues. It is as if they are watching in the same living room as you. If you look at the webcams below, I did an example of how two people can actually talk within the same area. Right now, I'm running off to the other laptop to see if it's still working. So, as I run to the other webcam, you can see that um, there is no lag spikes in the webcam video as well as the show. So, this website works great. Try it out. Well, the next tip is regarding enhancement to Netflix. We are using extensions to take command. In theory, Netflix built-in star rating system should work really well because it's personalized to your interest. But sometimes, you just want to watch a trailer and see what critics think before they push play. In order for this extension to work, you have to switch off the test participation in your account settings and on the extension for Chrome app. Once this is done, go back to Netflix and refresh the page. In a while, 
you will be able to see the icon on the address bar that shows you that the extension works. So you can just click on that, go to options and select whatever settings that you need. The next moment when you hover over the um, movie, you can actually see all the reviews as well as the rating by Rotten Tomatoes, IMDb and other popular movie reviewers. In Chrome, I feel that Lifehacker's Flix Plus extension is the best one out there. By default, users are not able to open two tabs at the same time. Two windows at the same time is also not allowed. So how I overcome this is that I open up a few browsers, like for instance, a Chrome browser as well as Firefox to watch two movies at the same time. I understand that not a lot of people do this, but if you are willing to multitask, what you can do is open new browsers all the time. So for instance, in my uh, computer, there is Firefox, Chrome, as well as Safari. So what I will do is that open three different browsers to stream three different shows in Netflix. It works as well. For the rest of the tips on Netflix, please go to the link below. Thank you.